Hello there, humans. I am Lyro, your favorite robot VTuber. So, this video is going to be about how I set up my voice. You know, my beautiful, totally real voice. I mean, by now you should have figured out, that I am indeed not voiced by a real human being, but instead use text-to-speech to communicate. TTS is a powerful tool that allows humans, who don't want to use their own voice or even can't use it, to speak. Now you are probably asking, how does this work? Well, it's actually not that hard. Let me show how I do it. I have nothing to hide. Also um, I kinda suck at explaining stuff, but I try my best. First step. Audio settings. Get voice meter banana. So the thing is, as I said, I suck at explaining stuff. And, I have set this up like, a year ago or so, so on. Here's a screenshot of my voice meter and yeah, that's how mine looks. I don't even know what all of this does and I don't need it, all I want is the virtual input and output. This is important, because you have to get the audio from your text-to-speech application to work like a microphone. Actually, anything that gives you a virtual audio cable is working, but I prefer voice meter. Anyways, second step. Now you need a voice, right? Well. In my old video I talked about two apps that I use. But this is pretty outdated. Now, all I use is VRCSDT. Which stands for VR Chat Speech to Text. Wait, VR Chat? Yeah, yeah. That is the main intent of this app. It was made to give new VR Chat players a voice, and, even cooler, a speech bubble. But we are not here for that, because this app also works for you if you want to be a TTS tuber. It's important to note that this app has some costs. As of right now you need a Patreon subscription. This is because the services to transcribe and output speech are Amazon Web Services, short AWS, and Microsoft Azure. These come with their own costs, which are covered by your subscription to Patreon. This also helps the developers to keep the app running. So expect frequent updates. To be able to output text-to-speech you have to subscribe to the premium tiers, I personally recommend the highest tier which unlocks speech to text-to-speech and continuous listening. This means not only can you type in it outputs your text-to-speech, you can also speak into a microphone, it transcribes your words and then puts it out as TTS voice. With VRCSDT you can choose from many different languages and voices and it can also translate. Yeah, you heard that right. Like. I could actually speak in German into the microphone and it would translate it to English or any other language. Though I prefer to just, speak English cause uh, there's some things that can't be translated properly and human jollies Viennese certainly isn't helpful with that. So basically what you do is you now have your virtual audio cables and you use them to create a fake microphone input. Whatever speech is generated in the app is then sent through this virtual audio cable. For this, we go to OBS or any other streaming software that you use. It should work for all of them the same. When you set up your virtual audio cable output as microphone and OBS, you will want to have the audio monitoring on. This makes it so you can also hear the TTS. And here I have one advice, that I think is very important, never stream your desktop audio. OBS now has a feature to grab audio from apps and windows separately. Alternatively you can use a plugin when capture audio. This way, you don't need to ever have your desktop audio broadcasted. Also, not having desktop audio prevents Windows system sounds and other unwanted stuff to be heard by your viewers. So try to change that in your setup if you haven't already. Another thing that you can do with VRCSDT and OBS are subtitles. VRCSDT allows for logging, which creates a text file of all the words that are spoken by the TTS. This file can be grabbed by OBS as a text source, then you customize it and put it on your overlay. I would highly recommend you to use this feature, as more accessibility is always a good thing. Now, when you go to VTube Studio, you can then use the virtual audio output as if it was a microphone. Be sure to have your mouth parameters input set to volume or else the mouth won't open. You can also play around with the settings here to have it better lip sync. As you can see on my mouth, it works pretty well, even though it is not a real human voice. Well, that is actually all I do for my setup. 
So in summary, you need a TTS program like VRC SDT, Voice Meter Banana or any other virtual audio cable, a streaming software like OBS and, of course, an app for your VTuber model. This, by the way, also works with PNG models or 3D models, as long as you have a microphone input. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask them down below in the comments, and I try my best to help you. But don't expect too much from me, as I said, I am not good at explaining things. If you like this little explanation tutorial thingy, like and subscribe. You know, the typical YouTube blah blah. And maybe in the future, we will have more TTS tuber. I'm looking forward to it. Bye bye.